how many inspirations? We have two. Do we want to save these? We want to go ahead and have this fight. Let's use one. Oh, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, can't win it. Can't win it. And we rolled hot garbage. All right. We're not going to use the second one. Yeah. We'll see we'll about, see about that. that. Ooh. Now, if there was ever a moment to use fireball, guys, if there was ever going to be one. Uh, do we have one? We don't have a scroll of fireball anywhere, do we? No, we have web, though. God, that's glorious. All right, what do we have? Seven, five, 14, five, 11, seven, five, 11. So they're pretty low health. <laughs> oh, we do have grease. We have some grease bottles. And we also have some scrolls of it. The thing is, a bunch of them are going to get to go before the rest of the group. So let me think about this. We could also throw water on them so that they're wet. Oh, we got cloud of daggers. Oh man, y'all. Sheesh. Darkness. We gotta keep we gotta remember to put these things on our bar. The area of effect on cloud of daggers is actually pretty low, but this hits four of them. We were just talking about how good this spell is. I feel like I feel like that's what we do. Look at that. That killed so many of them instantly. You love to see it. Now, I think we still have our bow equipped. Let's go ahead and use some basic poison. That guy died because he started inside of it. That one rushed towards us, walking right through it. It died. You love to see it. Do we Lump's Horn? I think we wait. I think we wait on Lump's Horn. I think we can actually take this group because of how well we just did there. Three little guys here. Web. No, we don't want to web unless they're inside the, the thing. What other scrolls does she have? Chromatic orb. Oh my gosh, sleep. 11, 7 is 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Boop, boop, boop. 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 To be careful that we don't walk into our own cloud of daggers. See, the game, the game wants us to walk into it. Jesus. Which gives a follow-up for a main hand attack or or mm, how much HP 45 yeah let's just hit him with the staff we'd actually do more damage with our fists now he's at 33 which makes him vulnerable to color spray so we might be able to blind him next turn which is terrific this guy coming in, coming in hot. Now 
now we can brace, which is going to increase our damage. Brace is an interesting ability that they gave to longbows. So you, you trigger brace, you sacrifice 20 feet of your movement speed, and it lets you roll your damage twice and take the higher result, which is very cool. It's sort of like elemental affinity, what we were talking about with the, with the elemental attacks. Just run into the giant tornado of daggers. Yeah, <laughs> Joka, yeah. So I think it's a really cool ability. It is, you can do it once per short rest, uh, but for a rogue, specifically an assassin, it's like you get yourself into position, they haven't detected you yet, you're gonna, ult, you're gonna do your opening salvo, which is guaranteed to critical strike. So it's like, yeah, that's when you would probably use brace. A very nice opener um, in that situation. We've got poison. We, we're pretty much as good as we can get here. Look at that. Look at that. 17 damage. And he's... Oh, he made his save against the poison. That's too bad. Still. Can we hide successfully here? Maybe. I like that we have not aggroed this Booyag up here. Or have we? No. Maybe? I'm not sure. We're gonna go around this corner and we're gonna we're gonna hide. Let's finish this. What have we got going on? We are concentrating on guidance. We've got sleep, but sleep's fine. That one's there. He's got 18 health. Do we just whack him? Do we try to knock him prone? If we knock him prone, our Dark Urge will have uh, an easier time hitting him. His dex is kind of high. AC is only 14. I feel like anything else is sort of overkill. We had a shocking grasp scroll. Now would be the time. Just trying to knock him down. He's probably going to pass or try to miss. Can't even catch my breath. So we kill this guy with our with our main attack. He's asleep, but it doesn't say we have advantage. I don't know why. We're gonna attack recklessly just in case. Oh, reckless attack. Oh, it says 100% hit chance. We don't have to attack recklessly here. But with a critical hit. All right, nobody else is going through the blades, so I think we can go ahead and dispel it. Another fight. Let's go. That way we can rush over here. Because we killed someone, we have Great Weapon Master, we have an extra attack using our bonus action. We rush over here, and we bonus action attack this guy. We miss, but we get the tenacity damage. Ogre stands up. Let's blind him. So that we have advantage on a flurry of blows. Do we just knock him down again? We just kill him. That, that's what we do. The best crowd control ability, death. Ah, do you see what happened there? Finally, finally. So he was he was standing in a crowd. He had Shadowheart with AC 20, Lazelle with AC 19, and my Dark Urge with AC 18 all standing around him. He targeted the Dark Urge because the Dark Urge has the lower AC. We actually don't want to max out our Dark Urge is AC. We want people to be hitting him instead of our other party members. This is this is an important like idea that we need to uh, incorporate into everything. All right, I think we can get this guy because we're hidden. Like that. What a freaking great fight. Great execution all around. And look, this guy's not even aggro hostile to us, the Booyog that's up top. Heckin' yes. Yes.